You should probably already know that I'm going to say it depends. So let's just talk about it. So back in like 2017, I decided that I wanted to launch a program to teach kids how to code. And I mean, actually not even just kids, but like anyone that wanted to learn how to code, I kind of wanted to make it seem or feel like a piano lesson. Over the course of eight to 12 weeks, I teach you how to code and you can get a job or be on your way to getting a job, most likely. So I made an Instagram, printed out flyers and handed them out. And I didn't even really get bites except for one student. And I ended up teaching her for about eight weeks. And over those eight weeks, I had a realization and it sounds kind of obvious but i guess it was more of a memory that was triggered and it was that coding is hard and and i don't mean hard like impossible or you have to be a genius or anything like that it's kind of like a car it's hard to get moving but once you get going you're good but getting to that point is just pretty tough personally i started learning how to code when i was like 14 or 15 and mainly by going to the newgrounds.com programming forums and through there, I met a bunch of people that I would talk to on AIM and they would teach me. I didn't really know anybody that could show me how to do it in real life. I never paid to learn until I went to college. And after that, I learned on my first job and I'm still learning on my job now. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about whether or not you should pay to learn how to code or just do it yourself. One reason I think you should go is because having a well-known name on your resume definitely gives you a leg up. Having something that shows you officially went through some kind of course or curriculum kind of would imply that you have a decent foundation and you have a lot of ground covered. But I definitely don't think you need a college on your resume. A lot of companies like IBM, Google, and Apple don't have degree requirements anymore. So if you're able to learn from a smaller shop like a boot camp or online courses, then why spend the extra money? And there's even new types of schools like Lambda School where instead of paying upfront or paying $40,000, $60,000 upfront or whatever for a degree, you can pay, um, you can go for free. And I think in exchange they take a 17 percent of your salary for the first two years after you get a job so that might sound like a lot but the starting salaries these days is like 75 85 95 thousand dollars um and it's only for two years so it kind of rounds out to a degree but there's not as much gambling involved and even though there are costs associated with it it's kind of hard to not justify investing in yourself i definitely wouldn't recommend going to college just for the sake of learning how to code i think there are other ways but like I said, having an institution, a boot camp, online courses, anything like that, it could be worth paying for if you know that you're into that kind of thing, or if you know that it helps you, or or if that's how you learn. Now, contrary to all this is, there are a ton of free ways to learn how to code. You have YouTube, freecodecamp.com, there's millions of blogs and articles that you can buy. You can go to the library and get books. If you're the kind of person that is self-dedicated and you know that you can really commit and put that time in, then you probably don't need to pay anybody. And another thing is that most companies don't care where you learn how to code. Uh, it's just a matter of can you code or not? It's as simple as that. But either way, if you are interested in learning to code, my number one advice is to learn how you learn. If you weren't really a school type student, if you weren't really good at school, you might be better off on your own. If you know you don't really have the willpower and you don't think you could really dedicate yourself to it, but you really want to do it overall, then maybe a school or online course will help you out. So yeah, let me know your opinions in the comments below. And if you're interested in coding, subscribe for more videos.